His only wish was to say goodbye to his family. So the president broadcast his footage and his family who were fleeing on the highway rushed to find a bus. They saw Jay Hayog's bloodied face on TV. First, he apologized to his mother. Mom, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I came here without telling you. And I'm sorry I had to leave first. I'm sorry I had to say goodbye this way. Don't be sad, Master Yun. Then he thanked his sister-in-law. Sister-in-law since the death of my elder brother. Thank you for taking such good care of my mother. Thank you. Thank you very much. Finally, he apologized to his girlfriend, Yeon Jo. I'm sorry that I couldn't keep my promise to let you live a good life. I'm sorry I couldn't keep my promise to grow old together. I really wanted to treat you well. I really, I really want to be happy with you. But why? Why can't I do it? At this moment, Jay Hyuk is crying like a child. He cried like a child. He let it all out. He really didn't want to be a hero, but he had no choice. By now, the blockade outside has been completed. After the workers have all withdrawn, Jay Hark turned on the safety with a trembling hand and pressed the button. When the smoke cleared, the president asked the station chief what happened to the man who went in. He told him there was no chance of survival. Besides, his name wasn't that guy. His name is Kong Jae Hyuk. Kong Jae Hyuk, I'll remember that name. Soon after, the workers who were involved in the rescue, they all died of radiation. The president personally held a memorial service for them, but no matter what, the pain of this disaster will remain in people's hearts forever.